Hello, I'm Oliver Lang, and thank you for subscribing to this course. This course is going to be given to you as if we're just two friends having a conversation, having a cup of coffee, and I'm giving you this information. I like to do things a little bit more, you know, loose, per se. It makes it a little bit more fun. So, one thing that I want you to become very understanding with is intake. Now, what does intake mean? You know, when you go to the doctor's office and they say, hey, have you been doing this? Do you do this? This is exactly it. Now, the purpose of this is so that you can become clear, so that you can become clear with why you're doing this, why you're spending money, why you're wasting your time, why you're away from friends and family or, you know, creating something called sacrifice. Sacrifice is a beautiful thing, okay? But when I, all the months and all the years and all the time that I took to hone my skills, I sacrificed a lot of time doing other things in the world that I could have been doing. So just the simple fact that you're here watching this video makes me believe that you are willing and ready to make a sacrifice. So this is absolutely beautiful. So I'm gonna start with this intake and I want you to be very honest with yourself. In fact, I want you to be brutally honest with yourself. For this intake is only for you. I'm never going to see it. No one else is going to ever see it. It's only for you. And again, the more honest that you can be with yourself, the more you're going to get out of this program. Okay? Because remember, this is a program for practice. Understanding practice. What is practice? Nobody knows what practice is. Nobody's very clear with what practice is. I'll tell you what practice is. Okay, you know what? Let's have some fun with it. Let's Google what this practice thing is. Aha, ready? Practice is a repeated exercise in a performance of activity or skill as to acquire or maintain proficiency in it. So this is what practice is. So again, on this intake, I want you to become very honest with yourself. First question. In some of these questions, you might think to yourself, why is Oliver asking me these personal questions? Because in the day we live in, sometimes we're just never honest with ourselves. And we don't ask ourselves these questions. And then we become very doubtful or misunderstood of what we're doing. So this is beautiful and I'm glad we can do this together. Question one, why do you play paintball? <laughs> Such a simple question that seems like it should be very understandable, but what is it? Why do you play paintball? This is a huge question to answer. This is a huge question to ask yourself. Why do I play paintball? So for me on a personal level, why I played paintball was because I felt paintball brought out something in me that I couldn't show to the rest of the world on a regular basis. It was the first time in my life where I was able to live very loud, where I was able to fully demonstrate and explode and be able to be as crazy and wild as I wanted to be, okay? So for me, that's why I played paintball. It brought something out of me that was profound that I never had felt on any other level of human existence. Now for you, it might be totally different. It might be, I play paintball because I want good exercise. I play paintball because I want to get away from my girlfriend. Whatever the situation is, it's okay but as long as you're clear with yourself. So, the next question. How far do I want to take my paintball career? This is a great question to ask yourself. How far do I want to take my paintball career? This is a great question to ask yourself. Why do I want to take it to this level? Okay, Become very honest with yourself. Do you want to become the best player in the world? You know, do you want to win a professional World Cup? Do you want to win an amateur World Cup? Do you want to win 
a rookie tournament, what is it that you want? Set that goal, set that intention right now, write it down and make it absolutely apparent to yourself. The next question, who is your favorite paintball player? Now you're probably thinking, well, I don't know, I like this guy, I like this guy. This is one of the most important questions I'm ever going to ask you. Who is your fam favorite who is your favorite paintball player and why? Now this is something that is overlooked by most people. Most people like this guy because he, you know, has a nice style or maybe he he's a great communicator or maybe he's a uh, very aggressive. Now this is all great. This is all wonderful. Whatever the answer may be is fantastic. But if you really want to excel, the secret is, is to watch these guys. Watch them. If, if your favorite paintball player is Archie Montemayor, watch him. Watch him how he plays. Watch how he shoots. Watch how he runs. Watch how he talks. You know, watch how he carries himself and emulate that. This is a trick, a secret of the pros, okay? You become what you see and what you want to see. So this is a, a very important question as an up and coming player to emulate the pros that you want to become. Maybe you don't want to become a pro. Maybe you want to just become the guy at the paintball field that shoots everybody. Watch him. Watch how he carries his gun. Watch the details. Okay. See what he does. This is an awesome, awesome entry level exploration to start becoming aware of what's happening and becoming aware of these people that, you know, you look up to. I had some, a few pro players in my life that I still to this day look up to, you know, not only in paintball, but in outside life. And I watch them and the way they do things. And these are my idols. These are the way that I want to live my life. So this is very important for you as an up and coming player to hone in on your favorite player. Watch him closely. The next question, do I like my job? This is an interesting question, but you need to understand something about this. If your goal is to shoot for the stars, to become the best of the best professional paintball player ever, you're going to have to learn that along the journey, along the process, you're going to need finances. You're going to need some money, okay? So you want to work closely with your current employer. Or if your current employer doesn't approve of your dreams, then it might be time to let go. But this is the key, is you need to become indispensable. What does this mean? This means that you are so good at your job, your employer can't let you go. Your employer doesn't want you to go. Your employer will work with you and be flexible with you so that you can go and you can take on bigger uh, tournaments and travel more and fulfill your dream if that's really what it is that you want to do. So what does that mean? What does indispensable mean? Become really good at your job. Become really workable and pliable with them so that they love you, so that they won't get rid of you, so that you can work in harmony with them to achieve your goal. Next question, to go along with that, are you financially stable? This is a, you know, an intimate question, but I'm asking you this because finance is essential with pursuing goals and pursuing dreams and you need to be realistic with yourself. Do you, do you have enough resources to take the time away from work or school or family or whatever it is to follow this path, this dream of becoming as good as you want to be within paintball. Remember, we're setting our intention with where we want to go with the sport, you know? So if you only see you being the best at the, at the current paintball field, then that's totally fine. So gauge that in terms of finances. One trick that I had along my journey was I worked at the paintball field. This is what I did, is I would show up on Saturday and I would work, you know, ceaselessly all day long and I would get paid in paint so that I could play the next day. Now this is a great, very sustainable practice 
for myself, being around the paintball world, being around the paintball players, seeing paintball, eating paintball, breathing paintball, so that I was able to practice the next day with the minimal amount of paint that I had and fully, and fully surround myself with paintball. Now the next thing, next question, are you in a loving relationship? So what does that mean? You know, I, I allow that to, to sink in for a little bit. But this is something that I've noticed along my path is that you need support. So most often when you go and you play paintball or you do any other sport, you do it by yourself and your partner may be at home, your boyfriend or girlfriend may be at home. What I'm asking you is are you in a loving relationship? This is a very important, vital piece to your success within anything that you're practicing for, that you're applying yourself to, because what it's doing is it's taking away time from the other being. This is something you want to really hone in on. This means become very clear with your partner and, and allow them to understand that when you're going to play paintball, when you're going to practice, that you're doing something that is filling you up, that is giving you joy, that is giving you strength, that is giving you power so that you can come back and love them as much as they deserve. So maybe, you know, instead of having a boyfriend or girlfriend that's saying, hey, get home right away and we need to leave and you're always playing this damn paintball thing, become clear with them. Say, honey, this is what makes me happy. So you should support me being happy. And in return, if they support you being happy, then you will have more time, you will have more freedom, you will have more uh, space to grow within this sport. And then on the way home, you pick up some flowers and you bring them a bouquet of flowers and they love you, you know. This is the real secret to this. If you really want to excel you need to be very clear with your partner, or your loved one, or your family, or your children. And say, honey, this is what I'm doing. Let me go do it. I promise you I'll give you all my time when I get home. The next question, am I healthy? So health is a, is a, is a very broad question these days. Health, what is health? If you've never navigated into this realm of health, I recommend you do. Because if you do want to become the top of the top pro paintball player, and I know there's a lot of you guys out there that want it, you need to become healthy. Healthy isn't just this physical body. Healthy is mental health, okay? Emotional health, spiritual health. And this is a whole journey on its own, but you have to become clear with yourself Am I healthy? Because I promise you, it's only going to transcend your whole paintball career, all your friendships, all your relationships within the paintball world, within the world of home, within society, if you become healthy. Okay? So this is a big question. It's a big, important one that you need to really dive into. And if you're not healthy, that's okay too. You still start taking precautionary steps to achieve greater health. Next question. Do I drink? Do I smoke? Why do I do this? Okay, this is something you want to ask yourself. I'm not going to get into it. Why do you smoke? Do you smoke because other people smoke? Because you see the billboards? Why do you drink? Do you drink because other people drink? You know, all these harmful things that could be hindering your growth as a person, as a player, okay, can easily be... Uh, diminished or eradicated from your life. So this is something to really look into, okay? Again, it's your life. It's your personal preference. You can do whatever you want to do. But I'm telling you, in terms of growth and application of yourself through practice, these things will hinder you. Do you have an exercise program? This is something that should be very, very, very uh, important to you if you are seeking to become a better paintball player. You know, you can't just run out onto the paintball field 
with all this gear on, with all this paint, holding these heavy, this heavy equipment, and think that you can just excel and run circles around people if you don't exercise prior. So if you are looking to really come to those next levels of greatness within yourself, adopt an exercise program. Adopt something. There's a million things you can do. Qigong, Tai Chi, yoga, wrestling, boxing, kickboxing, whatever it is. Just go and explore these things and they will help you within the sport of paintball. Along my journey, I went and played all sorts of other sports just to get the physical exercise routine down for paintball. Next question. One of the biggest, most important questions. Am I happy? Am I happy? I ask you this because I believe everything is working together. Okay, So if you've got something that's not making you happy, whatever it is, something that's bothering you, it's going to affect the potential of your paintball career or any career that you're trying to make and take. So if you are not a happy person, write down right now, how can I be happy? What makes me happy? That's the next question. What makes me happy? This is an awesome question and you can write many things that makes you happy. Many things, you know, coconuts make me happy, you know, flowers make me happy. You make me happy. You watching this makes me happy. The next question, do you love yourself? Why is Oliver asking me if I love myself? Because I guarantee you right now, if you further on down the road start to excel within this path, within paintball, if you don't love yourself, all you're going to do is hurt everybody around you. You're going to hurt your whole team because what happens when you don't love yourself is you take it out on everybody else. So start to understand how to love yourself. And how to do that is something very simple, very easy. Just say to yourself, I fully and totally accept myself just the way I am. I fully and totally accept myself just the way I am. I fully and totally accept myself just the way I am. I love you, I love you, I love you. This is something that I've been telling myself for years, for years. And this mantra has given me the strength in those hard times, in those moments of, of difficulty, of pressure, of anxiety, of fear. I just say, you know what, dude? I totally fully accept myself just the way I am. I love you, I love you, I love you. And I'm telling you, this might sound crazy to you, but this is inner strength. This is absolute burning certainty. If you want to achieve everything you can achieve in your limitless potential, you have to first believe in here. Because if you don't believe, oh, you know what, maybe I'm just not going to be that good of paintball and maybe this was a bad investment and, you know, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, man, I don't know. If you live in that way, then you know what? You're going to live in that way. Or you can say, you know what? Let's do this. Let's go head, head on. Let's take control of our lives. Let's take control of our thoughts. And let's make this happen. Let's go out and work our ass off. And let's practice. And let's build. And let's see what we can make. And let's see how far we can take this. Let's run with this. Let's have fun with this. So this is the real essence of this work.